All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, he protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I just pray that your mental health gets better. I just hope that you stay strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you're taking it one day at a time and that you're just pressing through your challenges, your obstacles, and what stands in front of you. And just trust in the Lord always and acknowledge him in all your ways. Amen. Let us not lean on our own understanding, all right? Let us always know that the Lord got us. He's strengthening us. He's purifying us. He's, he's molding us. All right. He's making us a better version of ourselves that we don't even see in ourselves yet. All right. So that's why the hardships, the trials and tribulations, those different obstacles are there is to actually better you and strengthen you. All right. Yes. Yes. Y'all let us thank God for another day. Let us thank God for having food in our belly, clothes on our back, roof over our head. Let us thank God for protection and safety as we go in and go out. And, you know, just got to appreciate all the small stuff and be grateful for everything. You know, a lot of people complain so much and bicker and murmur about things, but we're going to praise the Lord no matter how it's looking. And we're going to trust in him and have faith in him always. Amen. Rejoice always. That's what the the word says. Rejoice always in the Lord. All right. Yes, yes, y'all. Welcome, body of Christ. Greetings, family. Shalom, everybody. What is going on? Thank you all for listening. Thank you all for supporting. I truly appreciate all of you. I love you all. Praying for you all. All right. We got to hang in there and encourage one another. All right. Yes, yes, y'all. Welcome all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all tongues, all languages, all four corners of the earth, all races and faces, whether you're an Israelite or a Gentile, whether you're chosen or adopted. It is all right. Let us gather and praise the Lord. Let us come together as one for the Lord. And let us always just just keep on working hard every day for the kingdom of heaven, all right? Let us love the Lord our God of our mind, heart, and soul. Let us love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, and the commandments. Let us keep the commandments. And let us just press on daily, all right? Daily, nightly. We call on his name. We cry out to him. We pray with him, talking with the Lord and talking to him, you know, just, you know, petitions, thanksgivings, requests, prayers, all of that, supplications, everything, all right? There's so much that you want and desire and need, and there's so much in your situation that's urgent, so you call on the Lord for that, amen? You need healing, you need restoration, you need deliverance, you call on the Lord, all right? Yes, yes, let us transform into who the Lord wants us to be, all right? New creatures in Christ, born-again people, what is going on, all right? All right, all right. Let us do Father's business and Father's will until the Son comes back, amen? Yes, yes, y'all, all right. Now, today's message, we're going to continue the Bible reading series. All right. We left off of the book of Isaiah chapter 43 last time. So we're going to continue from the book of Isaiah chapter 44 and onward. All right. So we're going to continue this Bible reading series. And then we'll close out with a prayer. We'll close out with the priestly blessing. And then we'll also close out with giving the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All the praise, honor, and glory in his son. And praise the son who died for our sins. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. All right. So let us go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 44. Let's go. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jeserun, whom I have chosen. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. And they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the watercourses. One shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord and surname himself by the name of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first and I am the last. And besides me, there is no God. And who as I shall call and shall declare it and set it in order for me, since I appointed the ancient people and the things that are coming and shall come, let them show unto them. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time and have declared it? Ye are even my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Yes, there is no God. I know not any. They that make a graven image are all of them vanity, and their delectable things shall not profit. And they are their own witnesses. They see not nor know that they may be ashamed. Who hath formed a God or molten a graven image that is profitable for nothing? Behold, all his fellows shall be ashamed and the workmen, they are of men. 
Let them all be gathered together. Let them stand up. Yet they shall fear and they shall be ashamed together. The smith with the tongues, with the tongues both worketh in the coals and fashioneth it with hammers and worketh it with the strength of his arms. Yet he is hungry and his strength faileth. He drinketh no water and is faint. The carpenter stretcheth out his rule. He marketh, he marketh it out with a line. He fitteth it with planes and he marketh it without, marketh it out with the compass and maketh it after the figure of a man, according to the beauty of a man, that it may remain in the house. He hooeth him down with cedars, hooeth him down cedars, and taketh the cypress and the oak, which he strengthened, strengthened it for himself among the trees. Of the forest he planteth an ash, and the rain doeth nourish it. Then shall it be for a man to burn, for he will take thereof and warm himself. Yea, he kindleth it, and baketh bread. Yea, he, make, he maketh a god, and worshipeth it. He maketh a graven image, and falleth down thereto. He burneth part thereof in the fire, with part thereof he can, he eateth flesh. He roasteth roast, and is satisfied. Yea, he warmeth himself, and saith, Aha, I am warm, I have seen the fire. And the residue thereof he maketh a god, even his graven image. He fallen down, he falleth down unto it, and worshipeth it, and prayeth unto it, as saith, Deliver me, for thou art my God. They have not known nor understood, for he hath shut their eyes that they cannot see, and their hearts that they cannot understand. And none considereth in his heart, neither is there knowledge nor understanding to say, I have burned part of it in the fire. Yet also I have baked bread upon the coals thereof. I have roasted flesh and eaten it. And shall I make the residue thereof an abomination? Shall I fall down to the stock of a tree? He feedeth on ashes, a deceived heart hath turned him aside, that he cannot deliver his soul, nor say, Is there not a lie in my right hand? Remember these, O Jacob and Israel, for thou art my servant, I have formed thee. Thou art my servant, O Israel, thou shalt not be forgotten of me. I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions and as a cloud thy sins return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. Sing, O ye heavens, for the Lord hath done it. Shout, ye lower parts of the earth, break forth into singing, ye mountains of forest and every tree therein. For the Lord hath redeemed Jacob and glorified himself in Israel. Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself, that frustrateth the tokens of the liars, and maketh diviners, diviners mad, that turneth wise men backward, and maketh their knowledge foolish, that confirmeth the word of his servant, and performeth the counsel of his messengers, that saith to Jerusalem, Thou shalt be inhabited, and to the cities of Judah ye shall be built, and I will raise up the decayed places thereof. That said to the deep, be dry, and I will dry up thy rivers. That said to the Cyrus, he is my shepherd, and shall perform all my pleasure, even, in, even saying to Jerusalem, thou shalt be built, and to the temple thy foundation shall be laid. That's the book of Isaiah chapter 44 reading. Now we will go to the book of Isaiah chapter 45 reading, all right? The book of Isaiah chapter 45, here we go. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden to subdue nations before him, and I will loose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaved levered gates, and the gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee and make the crooked place straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I girded thee, thou, thou, though thou hast not known me, that they, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things.
Drop down ye heavens from above and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open, let them bring forth salvation and let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. Let the potsherd strive with the potsherds of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it, What makest thou? Or thy work he hath no hands? Woe unto him that saith unto his father, What begettest thou? Or to the woman, What hast thou brought forth? Thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, and his maker, Ask me of things to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hands. Command ye me. I have made the earth and created man upon it. I even, may, e, I, even my hands, have stretched out the heavens, and all their hosts have I commanded. I have raised him up in righteousness, and I will direct all his ways. He shall build my city, and he shall let go my captives, not for the price nor reward, saith the Lord of hosts. Thus saith the Lord, the labor of Egypt and merchandise of Ethiopia and of the Sabaeans, men of stature, shall come over unto thee, and they shall be thine. They shall come after thee, and chains they shall come over, and they shall fall down unto thee. They shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely God is in thee, and there is none else. There is no God. Verily thou art a God that hidest thyself, O God of Israel, the Savior. They shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. For thus saith the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it, he hath established it. He created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is none else. I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. I said not unto the seed of Jacob, Seek ye me in vain. Seek ye me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. Assemble yourselves and come. Draw near together, ye that are escaped of the nations. They have no knowledge that set up the wood of their graven image and pray unto a God that cannot save. Tell ye and bring them near. Yeah, let them take counsel together who hath declared this from ancient time, who have told it from that time. Have not I the Lord? And there is no God else beside me, a just God and a Savior. There is none beside me. Look unto me and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God and there is none else. I have sworn by myself the word has gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return. That unto me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Mm -hmm. Surely shall one say in the Lord, have I righteousness and strength. Even to him shall men come and all that are incensed against him shall be ashamed. In the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall glory. All right. That's the book of Isaiah chapter 45 reading. It's a powerful reading right there. We're prophesizing about you know, how the most highest people will get their uh, glorification process and also how the Lord will uh, justify the seed of Israel. Yes, yes, and we will confess who the Lord is and his son is, and every knee shall bow, amen. Yes, yes, y'all, that's that power right there. Yes, and even in Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7, even discuss how he forms the light and created darkness, you know, so uh, he's omnip omnipotent, om omnipresent, all of that. So that's the power he holds, all right? So let us fear the Lord and acknowledge everything that he does, amen? All right, so now that was the book of Isaiah chapter 45 reading. Now we will go into the book of Isaiah chapter 46. Isaiah chapter 46, here we go. Bel boweth down, Nebo stoopeth, their idols were upon the beast and upon the cattle. Your carriages were heavy loaden, they are a burden to the weary beast. They stoop, they bow down together, they should not deliver the burden, but themselves are gone into captivity. Hearken unto me, O house of Jacob, and all the remnant of the house of Israel, which are born by me from the belly, which are carried from the womb. And even to your old age I am he, and even to whore hairs will I carry you. I have made and I will bear, even I will carry and, del and will deliver you. To whom will ye liken me, and make me equal, and compare me, that we may be like? They lavish gold out of the bag and weigh silver in the balance and hire a goldsmith and he maketh it a God. They fall down, yea, they worship. They bear him upon the shoulder, they carry him and set him in his place. And he standeth from his place, shall he not remove. 
Yet one shall cry unto him, yet cannot can yet can he not answer, nor save him out of his trouble. Remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again into mind. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Remember the former things of old, for I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Calling a ravenous a ravenous bird from the east, the man that executeth my counsel from a far country. Yet I have spoken it. I will also bring it to pass. I have proposed it. I, per- I, per- I have purposed it. I will also do it. Hearken unto me, ye stout- stout-hearted that are far from righteousness. I bring near my righteousness. It shall not be far off. It shall not be far off, and my salvation shall not tarry. And I will place salvation in Zion for Israel, my glory. There's the book of Isaiah, chapter 46 reading. And as you read the book of Isaiah, you see how God loves us so much, how much he loves Israel, how much he loves Judah, how possessive he is about us and how much he wants to hold near to us and how we should hold near to him and be obedient and faithful to him. Amen. So it's a powerful, beautiful reading. All right. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 47 and go from there. Okay. The book of Isaiah, chapter 47. Here we go. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne. O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind meal, uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was wroth with my people, I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient, hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not... Lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. Therefore hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. But these two things shall come to thee in a moment, and one day the loss of children, and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thy enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thy heart, I am, and none else beside me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from where, from whence it ariseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee. Excuse me. Thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If be if so be thou shalt be able to profit, if so be thou mayest prevail. Thou art warded, thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee behold they shall be as stubble the fire shall burn them they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame there shall not be a coal to warm at nor fire to sit before it thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored even thy merchants from thy youth they shall wander from wander everyone to his quarter none shall save thee all right, so that's the book of Isaiah chapter 47 reading. All right. All right, so that was prophesizing about the Chaldeans. I was prophesizing about Babylon. How when Babylon goes down the drain, nobody's going to save it. All right, so that's very prophetic, and we're seeing it clear as day to day, how all these nations, all this evil, all this wickedness, all these kingdoms will go down the drain. And it also goes back to saying what Jesus was saying when he said, I tell you not one stone will be laid up, all these will go down the drain. You know, Jesus said that as well. So... Isaiah 47 definitely prophesies that, you know, because when you read most of Isaiah, it prophesies about 
Israel and salvation and restor- restoration and redemption. It also goes off about, it also prophesies about Christ returning and his position and his power and his strength and it also and his glory. And it also prophesies about um, all these nations going down the drain, all the wicked, how they'll be recompensed, right? How they'll get their judgment. So that was Isaiah 47. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 48, all right? The book of Isaiah chapter 48, here we go. Hear ye this, O house of Jacob, which are called by the name of Israel, and are come forth out of the waters of Judah, which swear by the name of the Lord, and make mention of the God of Israel, but not in truth nor in righteousness. For they call themselves of the holy city, and stay and stay themselves upon the God of Israel. The Lord of hosts is his name. I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth. And I showed them, I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. Because I knew that thou art obstinate, and thy neck is as iron to know, and thy brow brass. I have even from the beginning declared it to thee. Before it came to pass, I showed it thee. Lest thou shouldest say, my idol hath done them, and my graven image and my molten image hath commanded them. Thou hast heard, see all this, and will not ye declare it? I have showed thee new things from this time, even hidden things, and thou didst not know them. They are created now, and not from the beginning, even before the day when thou heardest them not. Lest thou shouldest say, behold, I knew them. Yet thou heardest not, yet thou knewest not. Yet from that time that, that, thine, that thine ear was not opened. For I knew that thou wouldest deal very treacherously, and was called a transgressor from the womb. For my name's sake will I defer my anger, and for my praise will I refrain for thee, that I cut thee not off. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with the silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. For my own sake, even for my own sake, will I do it. For how should my name be polluted, and I will not give my glory unto another? Hearken unto me, O Jacob, and Israel, my called, I am he. I am the first, I also am the last. My hand also hath laid the foundation of the earth, and my right hand hath spanned the heavens. When I call unto them, they stand up together. All ye assemble yourselves and hear, which among them hath declared these things. The Lord hath loved him. He will do his pleasure in ba- on Babylon, and his arm shall be on the Chaldeans. I, even I, I have spoken. Yea, I have called him, I have brought him, and he shall make his way prosperous. Come ye near unto me, hear, hear ye this. I have not spoken a secret from the beginning, from the time that it was. There am I, and now the Lord God and his spirit hath sent me. Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord thy God, which teacheth thee to profit, which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go. O oh, that thou hadst hearkened to my commandments, then had thy peace been as a river, and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. Thy seed also had been as the sand, and the offspring of thy bowels, like the gravel thereof. His name shall not his name should not have been cut off nor destroyed from before me. Go ye forth of Babylon, flee ye from the Chaldeans, with the voice of singing declare ye. Tell this, utter it even to the end of the earth. Say ye, the Lord hath redeemed his servant Jacob. And they thirsted not when he led them through the, des- the deserts. He caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them. He clave the rock also, and the waters gushed out. There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 48 reading. Mm. Now let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 49 reading, all right? The book of Isaiah chapter 49. Here we go. Listen, O isles, unto me, and hearken ye people from far. The Lord hath called me from the womb, from the bowels of my mother hath he made mention of my name. And he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword, and the shadow of his hand hath he hid me, and made me a polished shaft, and his quiver hath he hid me, and said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Then I said, I have labored in vain, I have spent my strength for naught, and in vain, yet surely my judgment is with the Lord, and my work with my God. And now saith the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him, 
Thou, Israel, be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in thy eyes of the Lord, and my God shall be my strength. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Thus saith the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and his Holy One, to him whom man despiseth, to him whom the nation abhorreth, to a servant of rulers, kings shall see and arise. Princes also shall worship because of the Lord that is faithful and the Holy One of Israel, and he shall choose thee. Thus saith the Lord in an acceptable time, have I heard thee, and in a day of salvation have I helped thee, and I will preserve thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth, to cause the, to, to cause to inherit the desolate heritages, heritages, that thou mayest say to the prisoners, go forth to them that are in darkness, show yourselves, they shall feed in the ways, and their pastures shall be in all high places. They shall not hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat nor sun smite them. For he hath, for he that hath mercy on them shall lead them. Even by the springs of water shall he guide them. And I will make all my mountains away, and my highways shall be exalted. Behold, these shall come from, come from afar. Behold, these shall come from far, and lo, these from the north and from the west, and these from the land of Sinim. Sing, O heavens, and be joyful, O earth, and break forth into singing, O mountains, for the Lord hath comforted his people, and will have mercy upon his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord hath forsaken me, and my Lord hath forgotten me. Can a woman forget her sucking child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee? Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. Thy children shall make haste, thy destroyers, and they that made thee waste shall go forth of thee. Lift up thy eyes round about, and behold, all these gather themselves together and come to thee. As I live, saith the Lord, thou shalt surely cloth, them, cloth thee with them all as with an ornament, and bind them on thee as a bride doeth. For thy waste and thy desolate places in the land of thy destruction shall even know even now be to narrow, be too narrow by reason of the inhabitants, and they that swallowed thee up shall be far away. The children which thou shalt have, after thou hast lost the other, shall say again in thy ears, The place is too straight for me, give place to me that I may do well. Then shalt thou say in thy heart, Who hath begotten me these? Seeing I have lost my children, and am desolate, a captive, and removing to and fro, and who hath brought up these? Behold, I was left alone. These where had they been? Excuse me. Thus said the Lord God, Behold, I will lift up my hand to the Gentiles, and set up my standard to the people, and they shall bring thy sons in their arms, and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth, and lick up the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, for they shall not be ashamed that they, they that wait for me. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive delivered? But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contendeth with thee, and I will save thy children. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Mm. Put a stamp on that one. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 49 reading. Yes, yes, y'all. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 50 and go from there, right? Yes, the book of Isaiah chapter 50. Here we go. All right. Isaiah 50. Thus saith the Lord, where is the bill of your mother's divorcement, whom I have put away? Or which of my creditors is it to whom I have sold you? Behold, for your iniquities have ye sold yourselves, and for your transgressions is your mother and put away, is your mother put away. Wherefore, when I came, there was no man. When I called, was there no to, none to answer? Is my hand shortened at all, that it cannot redeem? Or have I no power to deliver? 
Behold, at my rebuke, I dry up the sea. I make the rivers a wilderness. Their fish stinketh because there is no water and dieth for thirst. I clothe the heavens with blackness and I make that cloth their covering. The Lord God hath given me the tongue of the learned that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. He wakeneth morning by morning. He wakeneth mine ear to hear as the, he, as the learned. The Lord God hath opened my ear and I was not rebellious, neither turned away back. I gave my back to the smiters and my cheeks to them that plucked, that plucked off the hair. I hid not my face from the shame and spitting. For the Lord God will help me. Therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore have I set my face like a flint. And I know that I shall not be ashamed. He is near that justifieth me. Who will contend with me? Let us stand together. Who is mine adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God will help me. Who is he that shall condemn me? Lo, they all shall wax old as a garment. The moth shall eat them up. Who is among you that feareth the Lord, that obeyeth the voice of his servant, that walketh in darkness and hath no light? Let him trust in the name of the Lord and stay upon his God. Behold, all ye that kindle a fire, that compass yourselves about with sparks, walk in the light of your fire, and in the sparks that ye have kindled, this shall ye have of mine hand, ye shall lie down in sorrow. So book of Isaiah chapter 50 reading. Now we will go into the book of Isaiah chapter 51 reading, all right? The book of Isaiah chapter 51, here we go. Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence ye are hewn, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you, for I, for I called him alone, and blessed him, and increased him. For the Lord shall comfort Zion, he will comfort all her waste places, and he will make her wilderness like Eden, and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Hearken unto me, my people, and give ear unto me. O my nation, for a law shall proceed from me, and I will make my judgment to rest for a light of the people. My righteousness is near, my salvation is gone forth, and my arms shall judge the people. The isles shall wait upon me, and my, and my arms shall they trust." Lift up your eyes to the heavens and look upon the earth beneath. For the heavens shall vanish away like smoke, and the earth shall wax old like a garment. And they that dwell therein shall die like in a like manner. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness shall not be abolished. Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness, the people in whose heart is my law. Fear ye not the reproach of men, neither be ye afraid of their revelings. For the moth shall eat them up like a garment, and the worm shall eat them like wool. But my righteousness shall be forever, and my salvation from generation to generation. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake as in the ancient days, in the generations of old. Art thou not it that hath cut Rahab, Rahab and wounded the dragon? Art thou not it, it which hath dried the sea, the waters of the great deep, that hide that hath made the depths of the sea a way for the ransom to pass over. Therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. I, even I, am he that comforteth you, who art thou, that thou shouldest be afraid of a man that shall die, and of the son of man which shall be made as grass." And forgettest the Lord thy maker that hath stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth and has feared continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor, as if he were ready to destroy. And where is the fury of the oppressor? The captive exile hasteneth that he may be loosed and that he should not die in the pit, nor that his bread shall fail. But I am the Lord thy God that divided the sea, whose waves roared. The Lord of hosts is his name, and I have put my words in thy mouth, and I have covered thee in the shadow of my hand, that I might that I may plant the heavens and lay the foundation of the earth, and say unto Zion, Thou art my people. Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which has drunk at the hand of the Lord the cup of his fury, thou hast drunken the dregs of the cup of trembling, and wrung them out. 
There is none to guide her among all the sons whom she hath brought forth, neither is there any that taketh her by the hand of all the sons that she hath brought up. These two things are coming to thee, who shall be sorry for thee, desolation and destruction, and the famine and the sword, by whom shall I comfort thee? Thy sons have fainted, they lie at the head of all the streets, as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy God. Therefore, hear now this. Thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Thus saith the Lord thy God. Thus saith thy Lord, the Lord, and thy God, that pleadeth the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again, but I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, Bow down, and that we may go over, and thou hast laid thy body as the ground, and as a street to them that went over. So that's the book of Isaiah chapter 51 reading. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, y'all. Now we go to the book of Isaiah chapter 52 reading, all right? The book of Isaiah chapter 52. Here we go. Isaiah 52. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city, for henceforth there shall no more come unto thee the uncircumcised, the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust, arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. For thus saith the Lord, ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. For thus saith the Lord God, my people went down aforetime into Egypt to, to, to sojourn thee, and the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. Now therefore, what have I here? Saith the Lord, that my people is taken away for naught. They that rule over them, make them to howl, howl, howl. Saith the Lord, and my name continually every day is blasphemed. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold, it is I. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings and that publisheth peace. And that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, thy God reigneth. Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice, with the voice together shall they sing, for they shall see eye to eye, when the Lord shall bring again Zion. Break forth into joy, sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem, for the Lord hath comforted his people, he hath redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord hath made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Depart ye, depart ye. Go ye out from thence, touch no unclean thing. Go ye out of the midst of her, be ye clean, that bear the vessels of the Lord. For ye shall not go out with haste, nor go out by flight, nor go by flight. For the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your reward. Re reward. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently, he shall be exalted and extolled, and be very high. As many were astonished at thee, his visage, his visage was so marred more than any man, married to any man, and his form more than the sons of men. So shall he sprinkle many nations. The kings shall shut their mouths at him, for that which had not been told them that told them shall they see. And that which they had not heard shall they consider. That's the book of Isaiah chapter 52 reading. Very beautiful reading right there. Now let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 53 reading, all right? The book of Isaiah chapter 53. Here we go. Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Okay, now this is describing how uh, Jesus looked, how the Son of the Most High looked. All right. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we hid it, and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Excuse me. But he was wounded for our transgressions. 
He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Mm. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every way to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb. So he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Because he had no, he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many. For he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he hath poured out his soul into death, and he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. Oh, boy. That's the book of Isaiah chapter 53, reading right there. That describes not, that describes the Most High Son and his purpose, all within just that chapter alone. Isaiah 53. That right there is why we need to repent, get baptized, and start our lives over. Because what he endured for our sins, our affliction, our iniquities, he took he took all of it, man. He took all of it. He was bruised. He was beaten. He was killed for us, for our sake, man, for our sins. All right. If he can go through all that for our sins, we could go all out for the Lord. Amen. We could go all out for Christ. We could go all out for the kingdom of heaven. Look what he endured and went through just for us. All that he was wounded, he was beaten, he was afflicted, he was oppressed. He was taken from prison, prison and judgment. Man, we we serve an awesome creator, don't we? And this son is just too awesome to bear all this. All for our iniquities, for our sins, for our transgressions. Mm. Man, man, man. We 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 are healed and we are healed because of him, man. Man, man, man. I just read that, man. It says, by his stripes we are healed. Powerful, man. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Isaiah 53 is a powerful reading, man. It really is. That one really makes you reflect on what he really endured just for us, man. You see people today so ungrateful and always complaining and bickering. And we have one who died for us like this, man. That's just powerful, man. It really is. All right. So that's the book of Isaiah chapter 53 reading. You know, now we're going to the book of Isaiah chapter 54, okay? The book of Isaiah chapter 54. Here we go. Sing, O barren thou that didst not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that didst not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. Enlarge the place of thy tent, and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitations. Spare not, lengthen thy cords, and strengthen thy stakes. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles, and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame. For thou shalt forget the, the, the shame of thy, of thy youth, and shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood any more. For thy maker is thine husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and thy, rede then, and thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth, shall he be called. For the Lord hath called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit, and a wife of youth, when thou was refused, saith thy God. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. Hmm. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, saith the Lord thy Redeemer. For this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I would not be wroth with thee, nor rebuke thee. 
For the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed, but my kindness shall not depart from thee. Neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, saith the Lord that hath mercy on thee. O thou afflicted, tossed with tempest and not comforted, behold, I will lay thy stones with their fair co- with fair colors, and lay thy foundations with superiors, and I will make thy windows of a gates, and thy gates of carbuncle carbuncles, carbuncle, carbuncles, and all thy borders of pleasant stones. And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. And righteousness shall thou be established, thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the ser- servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Mm. That right there, that's the book of Isaiah chapter 54. Whew. I'm telling you, Isaiah was going in, man. I'm telling you, the Lord was going in through Isaiah, I'm telling you. <laughs> he was going in. I want to reread... Isaiah 54, verse 17. I just I think somebody need to hear that again. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Mm, no weapon formed against you. Whew, nothing at all. Ooh, not no, ooh, no spirit, no, 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 no weapon, man, no weapon. That's something you need to hear in this spiritual warfare, don't you? That spiritual warfare is intense, but it, I'm telling you, them weapons from the enemy are not going to prosper. Mm-hmm. In Jesus' name, yes, sir. Yes, in the Lord's name. Yes, yes. That's just a beautiful verse right there. I'm going to read it one more time, man, just one more time. Isaiah 54, verse 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment shall thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Ooh, ooh. The Lord really know how to protect his people, don't he? He sure looks out, y'all. All right, so that's the book of Isaiah chapter 54 reading. Now we're going to the book of Isaiah chapter 55 reading, all right? The book of Isaiah chapter 55 here we go. Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters. And he that hath no money, come ye buy and eat. Ye come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Incline your ear and come up and come unto me. Here in your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even sure the mercies of David. Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader and a commander to the people. Behold, thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not, and nations that knew not thee shall return unto thee. Because of the Lord thy God and for the Holy One of Israel, for he hath glorified thee. Seek ye the Lord while I while he may be found. Call ye upon him. While he is near, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return it to the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your neither are your ways. My ways, said the Lord. Mm. That's a way to humble us. Ain't it? We got to humble ourselves, people. Let me read that one more time. Let me repeat that for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways. My ways, said the Lord. Mm. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. 
so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Mm. Let me reread that, man. The Lord going there. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm smiling reading this. I'm just like smiling like, man, the Lord and Isaiah going in. Let me reread that. Reread that. So shall my word be that go, goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Mm, this word does not go void, y'all. For ye shall go out with joy and be led with led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the fir tree, and instead of the briar, the briar shall come up the myrtle tree, and it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Mm. So book of Isaiah chapter 55 reading. Man, 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 I'll tell you, the book of Isaiah, it just gets better and better and better as you read it. Like, it just gets better and better and better. The Lord was really going in, man. Really going in. Isaiah was really being used by him, man. That, man, that's, that's some powerful words right there. All right, that was Isaiah chapter 55. Let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 56, all right? Isaiah 56, here we go. Thus saith the Lord, keep ye judgment and do justice, for my salvation is near to come and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is the man that doeth this and the son of man that layeth hold on him, hold on, to, uh, hold on it, that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and keepeth his hand from doing any evil. Neither let the son of the stranger that hath joined himself to the Lord speak, saying, the Lord hath utterly separated me from his people. Neither let the eunuch, the eunuch say, behold, I am a dry tree. For thus saith the Lord unto the eunuchs that keep my Sabbaths and choose the things that please me and take hold of my covenant. Even unto them will I give in my house and within my walls a place and a name better than of, than of sons and of daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Also the sons of the stranger that join themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the name of the Lord to be his servants. Everyone that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it and taketh hold of my covenant, even them will I bring into my holy mountain, bring to my holy mountain, and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. Mm. The Lord God, which gathereth the outcasts of Israel, saith, Yet I will gather others to him, beside those that are gathered unto him. All ye beasts of the field come to devour, yet all ye beasts in the forest. His watchmen are blind, they are all ignorant, they are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark, sleep, and lie down, loving the slumber. Yeah, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough, and they are shepherds that cannot understand. They all look to their own way, every one for his gain, from his quarter. Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine. And we will fill ourselves with strong drink. And tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant. That's the book of Isaiah chapter 56 reading. And I love this one so much because, you know, man, I tell you, these these camps on the corner, man, these IUIC dudes, these GOCC dudes, these, these brothers on the corners, man, they, they go out with that, that doctrine of, you know, y'all know how they be on them corners with, and I'm saying here like, man, it's going to be all people, including this, man. Even God said it through Isaiah. He's just going to be Gentiles. It's going to be other people that cling on to him too. Because the Lord already got his chosen. He's going to gather in more people as well. Because with these camps on the corners, these these camps, they want to just say uh, how things are only for Israel, Israelites only. And when you read the book of Isaiah 56, God explains that he's going to bring others into the house of God, into the holy mountain. He's going to bring others too. And Jesus even said to baptize other nations. So that's why you can't preach that doctrine of race and people and identity and tribe. You can't because, you know, the Lord even just said in the book of Isaiah, chapter 56, uh, verse Isaiah 56, verse seven, it says, even them I will bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifice shall be accepted upon my altar, for my house shall be called an house of prayer for all people. All people, not few people, not all people. 
All tribes, all languages, all nations, all tongues, everybody, all four corners of the earth. That burst, that whole doctrine of brothers on the corners be spreading. You know, I got love for the brothers, but they be tripping with that. You know what I'm saying? The, the word right here, man. That's why you got to read the word for yourself. You can't get so caught up in camps and organizations with mass. You got to go with the word, say. Isaiah 56 states this, all right? I just had to break that. I just had to, re- had to go through that. I'm like, man, it's all tribes, all languages, all peoples, all nations, bro. Come on, y'all. It's going to be a, when Christ comes back, it's going to be a big wedding, wedding feast of the Lamb. Everybody going to be there, man. Yes, yes, y'all. So let's keep in mind of that, all right? So that's the book of Isaiah, chapter 56 reading. Let us go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 57 reading. The book of Isaiah, chapter 57. The righteous perisheth, and no man layeth it to heart, and merciful men are taken away, none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. He shall enter into peace, they shall rest in their beds, each one walking in his uprightness. But draw near hither, ye sons of sorceries, of sorcerers, the seed of the adulterer and the whore, against whom do ye sport yourselves, against whom make ye a wide mouth. And draw out the tongue. Are ye not children of transgression, a seed of falsehood, and flaming yourselves with idols under every green tree, slaying the children in the valleys under the cliffs of the rocks, among the smooth stones of the steam of the stream is thy portion. They, they are thy lot. Even to him, even to them, hast thou poured a drink offering? Thou hast offered a meat offering. Should I receive comfort in these? Upon a lofty and high mountain hast thou set thy bed. Even thither when is thou up to offer sacrifice. Behind the doors also and the post that hast thou hast thou set up thy remembrance. For thou hast discovered thyself to another than me, and art gone up. Thou hast enlarged thy bed, and made thee a covenant with them. Thou lovest their bed where thou sawest it. And thou wentest to the king with ointment, and didst increase thy perfumes, and didst send thy messages far, far off, and didst debase thyself even unto hell. Thou art wearied in the greatness of thy way, yet saidest thou not, there is no hope, thou hast found the, li- the life of thine hand. Therefore thou wast not grieved, and, who- and of whom hast thou been afraid or-, or feared, that thou hast lied, and hast not remembered me? nor laid it to thy heart? Have not I held my peace even of old, and thou fearest me not? I will declare thy righteousness and thy works, for thy shall not, for they shall not profit thee. When thou criest, let thy companies deliver thee, but the wind shall carry them all away. Vanity shall take them, but he that putteth his trust in me shall possess the land, and shall inherit my holy mountain." And shall say, cast ye up, cast ye up, prepare the way, take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people. For thus says the high and lofty one that inhabiteth inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in the high and holy place, with whom also that is of a contrite and humble spirit. To revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. For I will not contend forever, neither will I be always wroth. For the spirit should fail before me and the souls which I have made. For the iniquity of his covetousness was I wroth and smote him. I hid me and was wroth and he went on forwardly in the way of his heart. I have seen his ways and will heal him. I will lead him also and restore comforts unto him and to his mourners. I create the fruit of the lips, peace, peace to him that is afar off and to him that is near. Set the Lord and I will heal him. But the wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest, whose waters cast up mire and dirt. There is no peace, saith my God, to the wicked. Mm. The Lord going in, going in. Say it, Isaiah. All right, so that's the book of Isaiah, chapter 57 reading. Now we will go into the book of Isaiah, chapter 58 reading, all right? The book of Isaiah, chapter 58. Here we go. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways. As a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of their God, 
They ask of me the ordinances of just of justice. They take delight in approaching to God. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, and thou seest not? Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of our the day of your fast ye find pleasure, and exact all your labors. Behold, ye f- ye fast for strife and debate, and to smite with the fists of wickedness. Ye shall not fast as ye do as ye do this day, to make your voice to be heard on high. Is it such a fast that I have chosen, a day, for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a blur as a bulrush, and to spread a cloth and ashes under him? Will thou call this a fast and acceptable day to the Lord? Is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens and to let the oppressed go free and that ye break every yoke? Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house when thou seest the naked that thou cover him and that thou hide not thyself from thy own flesh? Then shall thy light break forth as the morning and thy, and thy health shall spring forth speedily. And thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Thy reward. Then shall thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shall cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee yoke, of thee the yoke, the, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity. And if thou draw thy soul to them hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness be as the noonday. And the Lord shall guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought, and make fat thy bones, and thy shall be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water, whose waters fail not. And they that shall be of thee, of thee shall build the old waste places, that, that thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repair of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of the Lord honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thy own ways, nor finding thy own pleasure, nor speaking thy own words, then shall thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will call, cause thee to ride upon the high place of the earth, and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it, spoken it. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 58 reading. All right. Now we're going to the book of Isaiah chapter 59 reading. All right. The book of Isaiah chapter 59. Here we go. The book of Isaiah chapter 59. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. Neither is his hear heavy, heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, mm. and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Uh-oh. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue hath muttered, hath, your tongue hath muttered perverseness. None calleth for justice, for any pleadeth for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. They hatch cockatrice eggs and weave the spider's webs. He that eateth of their eggs dieth, and that which is crushed breaketh out in, uh, into a viper. Their webs shall not become garments, and neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of, of iniquity, and the act of violence is in their hands. Their feet run to evil, and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. Wasting and destruction are in their paths. The way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their goings. They have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. Therefore is judgment far from us, neither doth justice overtake us. We wait for light, but behold obscurity. For brightness, but we walk in darkness. We grope for the wall like the blind, and we grope as if... We had no eyes. We stumble at noonday as in the night. We are in desolate places as dead men. We roar all like bears and mourn sore like doves. We look for judgment, but there is none for salvation, but it is far from us. For our transgressions are multiplied before thee and our sins testify against us. For our transgressions are with us and as for our iniquities, we know them. 
and transgressing and lying against the Lord and departing away from our God, speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood and judgment is turned away backward and justice standeth standeth afar off for truth is fallen in the street and equity cannot enter yeah truth faileth and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey and the lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment and he saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor therefore his arm brought salvation unto him and his righteousness it sustained him for he put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation upon his head and he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing and was clad with zeal as a cloak. According to their deeds, according, accordingly, he will repay fury to his adversaries, adversaries, ad adversaries, recompense to his enemies, to the islands. He will repay recompense. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion. And unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith the Lord, as for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee and my words which I have put in thy mouth shall not depart out of my mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed seed, saith the Lord from henceforth and forever. Mm. It's a book of Isaiah chapter 59 reading. As I'm reading these like chapters of Isaiah, man, I'm just like smiling and rejoicing. I'm just like, man, like the Lord's really using Isaiah. Isaiah was going in with this prophesizing and the poetry and describing Christ and how the evil will get recompensed and the everlasting joy we will have and how things will turn around for the for the Lord for the Lord's sake, amen. How things will be dramatically changed, all right. And we're seeing that clear as day in these end days, you know, in these last times. In these end times, in these last days that we're in, we're definitely seeing it. All right, so that was Isaiah fifty nine. Now we're gonna go to the book of Isaiah, chapter sixty. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thy eyes around about, and see all they gather themselves together. They come to thee. Thy sons shall come from afar, and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side then thou shalt see and flow together and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee the forces of the gentiles shall come unto thee the multitude of camels shall cover thee the dromedaries of midian and Afa, all they from sheba shall come they shall bring gold and incense and they shall show forth the praises of the lord all the flocks of kadir kadar shall be gathered together unto thee the rams of Nebioth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on mine altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these that fly as a cloud, and as the doves to their windows? Surely the isles shall wait for me, and the ships of Tarshish first to bring thy sons far from afar. Their silver and their gold with them unto the name of the Lord thy God, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he hath glorified thee. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Leb Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together, to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come behind, bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel." Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal, eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Mm. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breast of kings, and thou shalt know 
that I, the Lord, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood brass and for stones iron I will also make thy officers peace, and thy exactors righteousness. Violence shall be no more heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy wall salvation, and thy gates praise. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy God thy glory. The sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself, for the Lord shall be thy everlasting light, and the days of thy morning shall be ended. Thy people also shall be thy people also shall be all righteous, they shall all inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. Mm. Book of Isaiah, chapter 60, prophesizing about heaven, an everlasting, eternal, uh, eternal life right there, and everlasting joy, and the glorification process with the Lord. Excuse me, because when you read the book of Revelations, it describes it in this way as well how the Lord of the light will shine forever. And uh, it won't be no need for a sun or a moon because the, the, the light of the Lord, the glory of it is going to shine on us. So that's, that's, that's prophesizing about heaven, eternal life, uh, treasures in heaven, you know, the things Jesus talked about as well. So everything that prophets talked about were for, to, towards the people in that situation, in that moment, environment, but it's also long-term and it's also everlasting and it's eternal. The prophecy, the spirit of prophecy is important and powerful, man. It's a very beautiful, man. Because, the you know, like the Lord can prophesy through someone about judgment, wrath, or destruction to a city or a place or a people or things of the earth. But it could also prophesy about the goodness of God, the light, the joy, salvation, redemption, redeem, being people being redeemed, a gathering, heaven. You know, it's so beautiful, man. So the word of the Lord is very powerful. Amen. All right, so let us go to the book of Isaiah chapter 61. All right, let us go to the book of Isaiah chapter 61. So here we go. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. And they shall build the old wastes, they shall rise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities and the desolations of many generations." And, and strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the alien shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. But ye shall be named the priest of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. For your shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore in their land they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering, and I will direct their work in truth, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles, and their offspring among the people. All, the, all that seed them shall acknowledge them, that they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed. Mm. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he hath clothed me, clothed me with the garments of salvation. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. For as the earth bringeth forth her bud and as the garden causeth the things that are sown into it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. Mm, some more prophetic things as well, dealing with the Israelites and the Gentiles. How they will all go hand in hand with one another in end times, all right? So that's the book of Isaiah chapter 61 reading. Now let us go into the book of Isaiah chapter 62 reading, all right? The book of Isaiah chapter 62, here we go. 
For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest, until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and all kings thy glory, and thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem, diadem in the hand of thy God. Thou shalt no more be termed forsaken, neither shall thy hand shall thy land any more be termed desolate, but thou shalt be called Hevzeba, and thy land Beulah, for the Lord delighteth in thee, and thy land shall be married. For as young man marrieth a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day or night, day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence and give him no rest till he establish till he, and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. The Lord hath sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength. Surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies. And the sons of the strangers shall not drink thy wine for the which thou hast labored. But they that have gathered it shall eat it and praise the Lord. And they that have brought it together shall drink, drink it in the courts of my holiness. Go through, go through the gates. Prepare ye the way of the people, cast up, cast up the highway, gather out the stones, lift up a standard for the people. Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed it to the end of the world. Say ye to the daughter of Zion, behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And thou shalt be called sought out, a city not forsaken. Yes, yes, y'all. Beautiful. That's the book of Isaiah, chapter 62, reading. All right. So this is just beautiful reading, man. It really is. All right. Let us go into the book of Isaiah, chapter 63. All right. The book of Isaiah, chapter 63. Here we go. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra, Basra, this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength? I that speak in righteousness mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wind and the wine fat? I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will slain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeemed is come. I looked and there was none to help, and I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury it upheld, it, it upheld me. And I will tread down the people in my anger and make them drunk in my fury, and I will bring down their strength to the earth. I will mention the love and kindness of the Lord and the praises of the Lord, according to all that the Lord hath bestowed on us, and the great goodness toward the house of Israel which he hath bestowed on them according to their mercies and according to the multitude of his love and kindness. For he said, surely they are my people, children that will not lie. So he was their savior and all their affliction. He was afflicted and the angel of his presence saved them and his love and his pity. He redeemed them and he bare them and carried them all the days of old. But they rebelled and vexed his Holy Spirit. Therefore, he was turned to be their enemy and he fought against them. Then he remembered the days of old. Hold on. Then he remembered the days of old. Moses and his people saying, where is he that brought them up out of the sea with the shepherd of his flock? Where is he that put his Holy Spirit within him that led them by the right hand of Moses with his glorious arm, dividing the water before them to make himself an everlasting name that led them through the deep as an horse in the wilderness that they should not stumble. As a beast goeth down into the valley, the spirit of the Lord caused him to rest. So didst thou lead thy people to make thyself a glorious name. Look down from heaven and behold from the habitation of thy holiness and of thy glory, where is thy zeal and thy strength, the sounding of thy bowels and of thy mercies toward me. Are they, are they restrained? Doubtless thou art, art our father, though Abraham 
be ignorant of us, and Ezra acknowledge us not. Thou, O Lord, art our Father, our Redeemer. Thy name is from everlasting. O Lord, why hast thou made us to err from thy ways and harden our heart from thy fear? Return for thy servants' sake the tribes of thy inheritance. The people of thy holiness have possessed it, but a little while our adversaries, our adversaries, have trodden down thy sanctuary. We are thine, thou. Never bearest rule over them. They were not called by thy name. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 63 reading. Now we will go into the book of Isaiah chapter 64. All right. The book of Isaiah chapter 64. Here we go. O oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens, that thou wouldest come down, that the mountains might flow down at thy presence. As when the melting fire burneth, the fire causeth the waters to boil, to make thy name known to thine adversaries, excuse me, that the nations may tremble at thy presence. When thou didst terrible things, which we looked not for, thou camest down, the mountains flowed down at thy presence. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard, nor perceived by the ear, neither hath the eye hath seen, O God, beside thee. What he hath prepared for him that waiteth for him. Thou meetest him that rejoiceth and worketh righteousness. Those that remember thee in thy ways, behold, thou art wroth, for we have sinned, and those is continuance, and we shall be saved. But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness is are as filthy rags. Mm. And we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. And there is none that calleth upon thy name, that stirreth up himself to take hold of thee. For thou hast hid thy face from us, and hast consumed us before, because of our iniquities. But now, O Lord, thou art our father, we are the clay, and thou our potter, and we are all the work of thy hand. Be not wroth very sore, O Lord, neither remember iniquity forever. Behold, see, we beseech thee, we are all thy people. The holy cities are a wilderness, Zion is a wilderness, Jerusalem a desolation. Our holy and our beautiful house where our fathers praised thee is burned up with fire, and all our pleasant things are laid waste. Will thou refrain thyself for these things, O Lord? Will thou hold thy peace and afflict us very sore? Mm. Book of Isaiah chapter 64 reading. Hey, he said our righteous as filthy rags. That's a way to humble us, man. We cannot walk around think we better than one another. Can't walk around prideful, haughty, or arrogant. Uh, God will always have a way of humbling us and letting us know who really run the show. Amen. We got to have that meekness and humility and be humble with one another. All right. I know that's a lost art because we're in perilous times, but you don't follow the ways of the world. All right. We constantly humble ourselves before God and um, we, we, we be meek and have humility when we're dealing with people. Even when we're dealing with people, we don't see eye to eye. We used to have to be meek and have humility towards that all right because god is going to hold us accountable how we treat others you know what i mean you know gotta always remember that you know god holds us up more accountable than he owes anybody else amen because we're his people so you know gotta really be a doer of the word out here all right no excuses and i speak for myself as well we gotta be better in that area in our lives amen all right so that's the book of isaiah chapter 64 reading now we will go into the book of isaiah chapter 65 reading all right Book of Isaiah, chapter 65. Here we go. I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am found of them that sought me not. I said, behold me, behold me, unto a nation that was not called by my name. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people, which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. A people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face, that sacrificeth in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick which remain among the graves and lodge in the mount, in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things is in their vessels, which say, stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. Behold, it is written before me, I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense it to their bosom. Your iniquities and iniquities of your fathers together, saith the Lord, which have burnt incense upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hills. Therefore will I measure their former work into their bosom. 
Thus saith the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one said, Destroy it not, for a blessing is in it, so will I do for my servants' sakes that I may not destroy them all. And I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah, an inheritor of my mountains, and my elect shall inherit it, and my servants shall dwell there. And Sharon shall be a fold of flocks in the valley of Acre, a place for the herds to lie down in, for my people that have sought me. But ye are they that forsake the Lord, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spoke, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sting, sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit, and ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. For the Lord God shall slay thee, and call his servants by another name. That he who blesseth himself in the earth shall bless himself in the God of truth. And he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the God of the truth. Because the former troubles are forgotten and because they are hid from mine eyes. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind. But, but be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and a her. And her people of joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. There shall be no more thence an infant of days, nor an old man that hath not filled his days. For the child shall die a hundred years old, but the sinner being a hundred years old shall be accursed. And they shall build houses and inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and mine elect shall enjoy the work of their hands, and they shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. And the lion shall eat straw like the bullock, the bullock, and the dust shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountains, saith the Lord. Hmm. That's the book of Isaiah chapter 65 reading. Very powerful right there, right? Now let us go to the book of Isaiah chapter 66. Here we go. Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Mm. Where is the house that ye build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? For all those things hath my hand made, and all those things have been, saith the Lord. But to this man I will, I, will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, and trembleth at my word. He that killeth an ox is as if he slew a man. He that sacrificeth a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. He that offereth an oblation as if he offered swine's blood he that burneth incense and as if he blessed an idol yet they have chosen their own ways and their soul delighteth in their abominations i also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them because when i called none did answer when i spake they did not hear but they did evil before my eyes and chose that in which i delighted not hear the word of the lord ye that tremble at his word your brethren that hated you that cast you out for my name's sake, shall let the Lord be glorified, but he shall appear to your joy, and they shall be ashamed. A voice of noise from the city, a voice from the temple, a voice of the Lord that rendereth recompense to his enemies. Before she travailed, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man-child. Who hath heard such a thing? Who hath seen such things? Shall the earth be... Hold on, let me repeat that again. I will also I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them.
Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear, but they did evil before mine eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. Hear the, word, hear the word of the Lord, ye that tremble at his word, your brethren that hated you, that cast you out for my name's sake, said, let the Lord be glorified, but he shall appear to your joy, and they shall be ashamed. A voice of noise from the city, a voice from the temple, a voice of the Lord that rendereth recompense to his enemies. Before she travailed, she brought forth, before her pain came, she was delivered of a man-child. Who hath heard such a thing? Who hath seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. Shall I bring to the birth and not cause to bring forth? Saith the Lord. Shall I cause to bring forth and shut, shut the womb? Saith thy God. Rejoice ye with Jerusalem and be glad with her. All ye that love her, rejoice for joy with her. All ye that mourn for her that ye may suck and be satisfied with the breasts of her consolations, that ye may milk out and be delighted with the abundance of her glory. For thus says the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream. Then shall ye suck, ye shall be born upon her sides, and be dandled upon her knees. As one whom his mother comforteth, so will I comfort you, and ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem." And when ye see this, your heart shall rejoice and your bones shall flourish like an herb. And the hand of the Lord shall be known toward his servants and his indignation toward his enemies. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the mist, eating swine's flesh and abomination, and the mouth shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. For I know their works and their thoughts, it shall come, that I will gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory. Mm. Look at that, all nations and all tongues, man. Shh, come on, man. Them camps on the corners got to go on with that mess. Let us continue. And I will set a sign among them, and I will send those that escape of them into the nations to Tarshish, Pul, and Lud, that draw the bow, the bow to Tabal and Javan, Javan, to the isles afar off that have not heard my name, heard that have not heard of my fame, heard my fame, neither have seen my glory. And they shall declare my glory among the Gentiles, and they shall bring all your brethren for an offering to the Lord. Out of all nations, upon horses and in chariots and in litters and upon mules and upon swift beasts to my holy mountain, Jerusalem. Set the Lord as the children of Israel bring an offering in a clean vessel into the house of the Lord. And I will also take of them for priests and for Levites, saith the Lord. For as the new heavens and a new earth, which I will make, shall remain before me, saith the Lord, so shall your seed and your name remain. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me. For their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched, and they shall be an abhorrent unto all flesh. Whew. Now that's how you end the book of Isaiah, boy. Mm -mm -mm. That's the book of Isaiah, chapter 66. That's the last chapter of Isaiah. That was a very powerful book right there. Isaiah is a powerful reading. Powerful book, man. It's talking about everlasting heaven, the new earth, heaven, new earth, new Jerusalem. It's talking about holy mountain. It also talk about the wicked and how the Lord recompensed them, how they're going to go to lake of fire, hell, and all that stuff. So that was the book of Isaiah reading right there, man. Very powerful book. Very great read, man. Right. Very great. All right, y'all. So there you have it. We're just going to wrap it up and finish that book of Isaiah. That was Isaiah 66. All right. We'll continue the Bible really serious. The next book we will get into is the book of Jeremiah, another prophet. All right. So that's going to be a good one as well. The book of Isaiah was very great to read. Um, it prophesied about everything in a nutshell, honestly. So that was a very beautiful reading. And the book of Jeremiah, I look forward to really getting to that one as well. You know, they call Jeremiah the weeping prophet or what have you, you know. But, I mean, hey, you know, you go through a lot of stuff, man. 
you can't just be a robot and unexpressive. You know, you got to express yourself some way, somehow, right? So definitely for the to enjoy my the next one, all right? So what I love to do is I close out, give all the glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise his only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. So here we go. Hallelujah. He is the hope for humanity. He is the Adam, the advocate, the almighty, true, living God, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins. The author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation. The beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom. The capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, the king of Israel. He is the king of kings, amen. He is the king of kings and lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the light of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord is my rock, the Lord is my banner, the Lord is my salvation, the Lord is my shield, yes, yes, the Lord is my fortress, the Lord is my deliverer, he is my, my redeemer, amen, the Lord is my high tower. Yes, yes, the Lord of our righteousness, the Lord, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, 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 Yes, definitely. The father of mercies, the father of lights, the father of the fatherless, the father of widows. Yes, yes, y'all. Awesome creator and son that we have. Yes, he is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, Elohim, Yahweh Yahusha, Lord of lords, man from heaven, man of sorrows, mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten Son of God, our great God and Savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice to Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the resurrector, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth. The Savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of David, the son of Abraham, the son of God, the son of man, the son of the blessed, the son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. He is the way. Amen. He is the way, truth, and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor. The word, the word of God, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word of life, the word of Yeshua, the word of Yeshua HaMashiach, the word of Yahweh Shai, the word of life, the almighty, the true and living word. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. We touch and agree. We serve an awesome creator. And this sounds amazing for dying for our sins. Yes, yes, y'all. Both in the Lord. Yes, yes. His son is too awesome. His son is the seed of Abraham, promise, the seed of Adam, humanity, seed of David, kingship, seed of God, deity, seed of Jacob, nationality. Seed of Judah tribe, seed of Shem race, seed of woman prophecy. Yes, yes, in the authority and name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, renew renewed, redeemed, restored, delivered, healed, forgiven, embraced, loved, new mind, new heart, new soul, new eyes, new tongue, new vision, new hands to prosper, new footsteps, new scenery, new life, new beginnings, fresh start, new seasons. Amen. Yes, 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 stability, firm, love, patience, gentleness, kindness. Mercy, favor, I speak those things over your life forever. Amen. Strength, renewed strength. Amen. 
Yes, y'all. So there you have it. All right. That is the word for today. The book of Isaiah chapter 44, all the way through 66 reading. All right. Yes, yes, y'all. I just pray to God that whoever is this message, I pray that you repent and get baptized and start over and change from your ways and really have some new habits and really keep working hard for the Lord and keep bettering your life along your path. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. So let's close out with this priestly blessing and go from there. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Shalom. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.